It's time to get this sixth round of the championship underway at the Pirelli Grand Prix of Mosport, presented by Optima Batteries. There's the signal once again. We are within five seconds to the launch. The wheel and lights will come on. As always, when they go out, we go racing. Skeen looking to control it again, but this time he's got Pat Long alongside. There we go. Lights out. We're underway. Oh, onto the grass goes one of the machines. Skeen looking long, fighting for it around the outside, Cal. He's trying to get to the inside for the upcoming oh. round two, but Skeen And our leader currently. And there's the good news. Pac is out of the car and okay. There's a sigh of relief. Two-thirds of the way through this sixth round of the Prelli World Challenge Championship, the Prelli Grand Prix of Mosport, presented by Optima Batteries. And there is Pat Long as he continues to try and find an answer to the just, at this point, uncontrollable pace of Mike Skeen. Boy, he's got it covered. He really does. Those Corvettes have been so strong here this weekend. But for Pat Long, I'm sure he'll feel a lot better than he did here yesterday where he finished P6. Right now running second. Good strong points. And Sofronis a little bit further back. On board with Johnny O'Connell. Again, kind of a lonely third at this stage of the race. Had that great second place yesterday. Just no answer right now 
for Skeen nor Long in this one as they come working up. There is Mike Skeen up through Moss Hairpin once again in this key launch. Boy, he picks up the throttle so early there, doesn't he? You can hear it. He just kept it really nice and clean. Just a good smooth run. He's dealt with traffic really, really well. And he's kept that buffer we talked about. He hasn't had a lot of pressure from Pat Long. And that really makes the task so much simpler than having someone right on your tail and having to deal with traffic at the same time. As he disappears up the Andretti straight, we hop on board with Lawson Aschenbach, who is currently leading in the touring car class. Got the win yesterday, like Skeen, going for a potential sweep here. And uh, boy, that's sweet when it's the team's home track. You love to see that. Meanwhile, look at the battling going on here at uh, Brett Sandberg. Yeah, this could be a Compass 361 yeah. 2 here today. He's looking really good right now. On board with Anthony Rapone in that team Durabond entry to Gary Quox, who had the incident. And Ooh. a big move. Boom! That Tristan was super Herbert. aggressive there. Wow. That is not going to work. Just yeah, in there can... way too deep. Sandberg was committed to the apex, and that was a big hit. Boy, absolutely, and uh, I mean, he just got nerfed out of the way, quite honestly, there. You've got to feel, if you're going to make that move, you have to literally feel your way down there. Look at this, he just commits from way back, dives it down at the inside, nowhere to go, uses a bit of the curb, launches it, but you have to feel that move. You have to slide from underneath the other car, the rear bumper there, and he just overly committed. Look at this. Trying to push his mirror back. <laughs> <laughs> That's wild. Well, it's good to be flexible, I guess, when you're a driver. <laughs> A little gymnastic history can't hurt. That's unbelievable what he did right there. And again, in his defense, Sandberg did fade. Oh, what a huge off. That is Herbert. Herbert at the apex of turn nine. Sandberg has gone around oh, as look well. This. Jakubowski is off. Oh, there's got to be oil down great because there is cars spinning everywhere and it's not an avoidance for the crash. There is something down on the racetrack. Unbelievable. You wonder if maybe when Herbert and Sandra got together, if something didn't pop on Herbert's car. On board were Rapone there, and there you what see. What a save. Her yeah, that was a save. There you saw Herbert crash pretty hard. Look at that. Working the wheel, but to no avail. He's hard into the tires, and like you said, he took that big hit down at Moss. Maybe he loosened up an oil line or something. And sadly, Sandberg, who was in it with him down there, gets caught up in this again. You see Jakubowski off in the background. One of the VWs goes slicing off and Skeen. And that is your, well, there you go, your GT and your touring car class leaders right now running line astern up the long and ready straightaway once again. And you can see there's the debris flag, Cal. Yeah, they got the debris flag. I'm sure the crews are on the radio to these two boys saying, look up ahead, turn eight, turn nine. There's going to be oil down. Be very, very careful. And Skeen has a massive lead. He can afford to tip two through this area of the racetrack. There he comes into that suspect area right now. Not going that slow, actually. He's got to be careful because right there is where the problem area is. There you see, tucks it to the inside. Looks like he ran nice and wide at the apex, so he may have spotted where that was and was able to get around it. That's and the good news. The bad news is he's going to have Pat Long all over him here for the restart. Well, you bet. We are full course caution, and apparently it is because uh, we're getting reports there is a solid line of oil out there, and uh, that's a big problem indeed. Not enough you can just cover it with a local surface flag. So we're under a full course caution at this point here at Mosport for the sixth round of the championship. And here's how it stands right now. Skeen, Long, O'Connell, and Sopronis in the GTS. It is all Mustangs in the top four at this point. And taking a look at Turing Car, lots of changing. Aschenbach, Raponi with that great save. Sandberg and Meyer. We continue to run under full course caution here at the Prelli Grand Prix of Mosport, presented by Optima Batteries, the sixth round of the championship, second of the double headers here. And Cal, it's going to be a white flag and a checker. We're going to finish this one under caution. Hate to see that happen. Yeah. We can see the carnage there as the cars are now flatbedded back to the paddock area. But for Mike Skeen, what a weekend, winning two in a row and in dominant fashion. Johnny O, second podium of the weekend. He'll be happy. And keep in mind, Aschenbach's going to sweep as well, so that's a good one. And this should give Paul Brown the victory. And you can see James Sofronis yeah, sitting back there, a little bit of a wiggle as he's thinking, maybe I'm going to have a restart. Yeah. <laughs> Scrubbing those tires off, possibly. Hopefully there's not a bigger issue with that race car. But there you see the damage to the, the Mustang right front suspension. And here we go, last time through turns 9 and 10 and on to that front straight. A checker flag awaits. And I got to tell you, for Anthony Raponi, his first ever weekend in World Challenge, two second place finishes, you Don't see that. see Sophronis. Where is Sophronis? He should have been right there in the mix there. 
We saw him waiting yeah. around on that last lap. So. He had a fifth set. Here's the checker. He was our championship leader coming in. Skeen wins it, but where is our championship leader, Sophronis, right now? There's Long, there's O'Connell. There's Desclos Pilgrim. There's Safro, and he's cross. Something's gone wrong, Cal. Yeah, he's lost a couple of spots there, which you're not allowed to pass under the caution laps, but it looks like he may have come to a standstill or crawling along there to see the stripe. Unbelievable. If that is indeed the court, boy, just to see him finish is going to be. Look at Paul Brown lighting him up and having some fun, and deservedly so. And in touring cars, what a weekend for Anthony Raponi. Two seconds to the champion. And I'll tell you what, I think we're going to have to start calling him the thrill from Thornhill. Boy, he has put <laughs> together a great run. And speaking of the champion, there he is. Lawson Oschenbach sweeping the weekend, Cal. Yeah, the seven gas size were really strong here. For Calvin Fish and for Jim Martin, of course, I'm Greg Kramer. Thanks so much for joining us here, and we look forward to seeing you at Mid-Ohio. And until then, take care, everyone.